guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa, also known as The Thrifty Broad. And today I'm here with another haul video. So last Monday, we went, me and Kristen, my friend Kristen went to the bins and we went to Crossroads. Um, and so I got a few things. I'm gonna show you the Crossroads first and then I'll go on to the bins. Now I'm gonna be cost averaging everything I got at the Crossroads with the stuff I got from the bins that day. So it's a lot cheaper. Cause it was, a, it was a, a bit spendy going there, but you know, I ended up getting some items that I think will do really well for me. And I don't know where my scissors are. Where are you? Oh, over here. one second. Okay, back with my scissors. So I can snip off these tags cause they're not the kind that you can just tear off. Or what I want to on these anyway. So this is Kate Spade. can see that oh there we go okay so it's this cute like it has a crossbody strap still on it and it's kind of this cute satchel purse the inside looks really good so you can see that and um it says Kate Spade New York on the inside so I'm really kind of confident that this will sell for a bit I should have moved this back all right <laughs> let me put some of this stuff over here since I don't have that much space. This is made well. Oh, but let me cut off the right tag without cutting off the wrong tag. You know what? So do that and leave the extra tags on. Okay, so this is made well. We've all seen this tag before, um, but this is this really cool. Um, I don't know what you would call it, like a a shawl coat. Was that would that be what you call it? But I really like this like ditzy floral on it. It's corduroy. I think it's 100% cotton. But let me check. Where are you at? It is 100% cotton. So I was right. And um, yeah. So I think this will do okay. This um, is still new with tag. So it still has this little tiny tag on it. It doesn't have a price tag on it. I'm pretty sure it was over $100 they sold this for originally. This up there, I got these, um, they're Levi's. They are the, come on, the 70s High Slim Straight. They're size 28 and they are the premium. So they're in great condition. Um, I think they're reproduction. But let me tell you what year they were made. Um, 21. So 2021. So these are obviously reproduction. There are zip fly. Um, and I do put that in. Um, I do put that in my description that it's not, you know, vintage. I got these. They are um, Lucky Brand. But these are the High Rise Mom Drew, but they have this really pretty uh, embroidery on it. And they're a size six or 28, but I thought these will do well. Um, I think they're straight leg. They originally MSRP for 149. I will get that obviously, but being new with tag and we're going into Q4, I thought this would probably be a good pickup. And then after I cost average, um, my cost of goods will be probably around $5. Generally, that's how it works out, but we'll see. Maybe I'll count at the uh, at the end here and, and give you an idea. Okay, so this is Pringle. I need to cut this off. I believe this is vintage. This was half off, at least. Um, it's Pringle of Scotland. Did they spell Scotland wrong? <laughs> they spelled it S-C-O-T-L-E-N-D. It's not spelled Scotland. It's not Scotland, it's Scotland. <laughs> but okay. I mean, maybe they used to spell it that way? I don't know. Maybe I picked up a dupe? I have no idea. But it's super soft, super cute. I don't think it's a dupe, though. I will have to do more. You know, and the thing is, Crossroads does authenticate um things like i brought them uh, a coat that was designer they couldn't maybe maybe that's how you spell scotland and gaelic 
that could be it. Um, and maybe that's how they spell it. Um, and this is a large and it's a hundred percent, um, wool anyway. So it's really cute. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah. So I brought them a coat. They couldn't authenticate it. So they wouldn't accept it. So that tells me that they, that when you're buying stuff from Crossroads, you're probably going to get the real deal. So this is really cute, but couldn't pass it up. It was on half off. Okay. I know this is Zara, but I could not leave her behind. I couldn't do it. She's so pretty. I'm pretty sure this will do fine. This is a large, so I, it's a larger size. It's a regular Zara tag, but it is large. But look how beautiful this is. And I think it's a bit oversized. Like, I think this could fit me. So look how beautiful this is. It's like this lace with this embroidery on it. I, I just, you couldn't do, you couldn't go wrong with this, you know? I think this will do well. And uh, it's maxi. People are going to still buy this stuff even in the wintertime because they go on vacation. Okay. This is super heavy. And I have to repair this tag a little bit. Which is fine. I don't mind repairing the tag. Um, but this tag is... Carrick, okay, I can't read it that way. Carrick Finn, hand knit in Donegal from 100% pure virgin or pure new wool. So it's this big, thick wool. Um, I don't know, would you call this a chunky cable knit? I think I would. And it's just, it has no holes, it's in great condition. I couldn't pass it up. I think this will do actually pretty well. I found this Kate Spade dress. It was half off. It's the only reason I got it. The original price was a little steep for me. Um, so Kate Spade, New York. And uh, it's not new tag though. But I mean, she's in great shape. It's a, it's a real red. If it's coming off as an orangey red, that's not true. It's a, it's a actual like true red. Like you'd wear this for Christmas or for, um, Valentine's day or something like that. Or just because you like red. I love red. Okay. I couldn't pass this up. It was really funny because I showed this to Kristen. She's like, do you want, you want me to show you everything I put back? <laughs> Cause she bit, had picked this up and then she put it back. I decided to get it. Um, because it's overalls. Oh my God. But this is all messed up. I have to fix this. Do, do, do. Okay. Let me fix this completely. This is completely twisted. All right. Oh my God. Of course, you know, when you're on video, this takes a hundred years to actually fix. But if you're not on video, you do it really quickly. You know, such is life. But okay. Look how cute these are. And they are. Nope. Does that not tell me what it is? Nope. But it tells me it's 32. Well, let me find. Here it is. It's Pilcro in the letterpress. But they've like half the tag is, is missing, but it is Pilcro. Um, has this cool like, I don't know, like mixed like camo and leopard and it's patched and uh, what do we call it? patched and sewn on and you know it looks cool so I picked it up it's a size 32 which is a good size um and yeah I think this will do well too bad it's not a new tag but it's also straight leg and it does have a raw edge hem so I think this will do just fine and we're getting down okay I found these um, Everlane jeans are new a tag. So these are the Everlane high rise straight jean. It is a dark wash. I know dark wash isn't in right now, but some people are still buying it, but I know straight is in. So someone's going to want the dark wash straight and be high rise at the same time. I just thought, why not? And 
Last but not least, I picked up these. They do need a little repair, which I can do. Um, this out. Okay, so these are some straight leg, um, real leather pants. They're brown leather, and they are by the brand St. John. Of course, the tag has been cut in the middle. But this is St. John by Marie Gray. I know that is um, not, not the most expensive line that they had. It's an older line, I think. But it is made in Italy. It is genuine leather. There we go. And the fix I will need to do is on the front. I will hand do this. So basically, the bobbin thread came off of that. And so I will need to go in with a you know, thread and just kind of do one little tiny stitch to kind of tack that back down. And it will reinforce it. I've done that before, like on jeans, and it, and it worked just fine. Like on jeans that I've kept, that I've worn over and over again, washed over and over again, and, it, and it's completely fixed it. So, yeah. So what I'll need to do is just kind of do the repair on kind of on this side, but for this side. And I'll just go through and go through the hole with a needle and then go back through that same hole, but over the thread. So it kind of just goes back in and it doesn't look like it's a problem. It doesn't look like it's ever come out before. And that's how I fix them. If you have a different way to fix them, great. There's more than one way to fix stuff. And uh, there's a, yeah, I just say St. John. Say St. John on the button. You can see that. Anyway, so yeah, I was excited about that. And after I fix it, I will be putting that in all my stores going on. So now they have an empty Ikea bag over here. Oh my God, stay open. I can go from here to here. Okay, so let's do this first. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I have a bunch of little bags over here. I found this. It is, it is a uh, Forever 21. Um, but it's like Forever 21, Los Angeles. It is a medium, but it looks like it's an oversized. And the back says, whatever. I couldn't pass that up. So I had to get it. Plus, it's a jean jacket. Jean jackets, to in my opinion. The brand doesn't really matter as much. If the jean jacket looks cool, that's what matters the most, in my opinion. So this needs to be washed, I think. But it is a Sonoma, which is not a high-end brand. But I couldn't stop myself from picking up this cheap uh, robe. It has its tie. I thought it was just really cute. So why not, right? Even if I got it at the bin. So even if it's you know, 25 bucks. It's totally worth picking up. Okay. What are you? Oh, I didn't look this up, but I thought, you know, it's light. I'll just get it. So hopefully it's a good brand. <laughs> Rumi and Ryder is large. I think this might be, I don't know if it's sleepwear. Actually it looks like a dress. So yeah, it's a dress with slits on the side. I'll find out when I look up the brand. Are you um, familiar with this brand? I just thought it was really cute. So I picked it up and it's kind of like a maxi length. At least it is on me because I'm sure I'm five one. So if I was wearing this, which I cannot fit in this, it would be to my ankle. So that's maxi in my opinion for my size. All right. So let's just put this on the chair in front of me, which is in the frame. Um, this is I don't think this is actually independent trading company. Like it's not a, it's like probably one of those print on demand ones, but I got it and it says machine gun Kelly tickets to my downfall. And on the side it has, what does it have? Just snakes on down the side. So I thought I'd pick it up. It's not like a tour, um, but it is a band sweatshirt. So I picked it up. I was like, I'm pretty sure this is a band. 
Uh oh, did something fall? I hope something didn't just break. Oh, I think it just clinked against itself. Okay, cool. Because that would suck for me if this was broken. Okay, let me see if I can get. Oh, I can get this in. Okay. Let me just do this. It's actually very it's different than normal. Okay. So this is Union Bay, but I think this is a vintage, like 90s Union Bay. It is overalls. Um, what does it say in the front? Oh, just Union Bay jeans. I'm pretty sure this is vintage. So it's straight leg, which is really in right now. Um, and so is flare, and so is wide leg. So skinny is apparently out, but I'm still selling skinny jeans. I still pick up skinny jeans because I still wear them. So, and this is a good way to figure out if this is men's or women's is there's no zipper. So this is a women's large or a women's small, sorry. 100% cotton. The fly has no fly. Usually if it's men's, there's a fly. This is White House Black Market. I don't think of a ton at White House Black Market, but... I could not resist this like halter style. So cute. So, I mean, this kind of halter fit and flare. I think it's 100% cotton dress. This will look so much better on my mannequin. And if I might just put this on my mannequin before I send or release this video, it is 100% cotton. And the acetate, the lining is acetate, not the acetate is lining. <laughs> but yeah. It's really pretty. That looks so much better on a mannequin than it does in my hands. Okay, this is, okay, this is just like a banty uh, from Luke Combs. I think it's a country singer. I'm in love with loving you, Luke Combs. I'm pretty sure there's nothing on the back. I picked it up, because why not? Okay, another and this one's, I think, a bigger size. What size are you? Uh, oh, no. It's small. But I think it's an oversized small, to be honest. This one, come on, is Target. It's Universal Thread. But, oh, no. It's Wild Fable. Sorry. But, you know, people like Wild Fable. And they like, what do you call it? Overalls. So, it buttons on the side. They are small, they are distressed, they are straight leg. And they're kind of like a lighter wash, right? So I picked it up. It's the thins. Why not? Um, I'm pretty sure I can get like 20 bucks for that. So I'm going to try. All right. This is, what are you? Oh, this is uh, Anthropology. It's Lai, or Lee, probably Lai. Uh, it's just this really cute skirt. It has pockets. Is it a sh shorts? Nope, it's a skirt. So I picked it up. I don't pick up all anthropology, but I thought that skirt was really cute. Compare that with some white leggings. Why not? This is Valor Clothing. No, sorry. Valor Collective. Um, I really like the feel of this. So I picked it up. It's like, a, it's a flannel. Um, but I thought, why not? We're in that right season for it. You know, has all these buttons and it feels really soft. Um, this. Um, the band is fifth in sun, extra large. Um, and it says, pretty sure somebody like cut it because I think it's in California across the top. And summer of 1976, I do not think it's that old. I think it's meant to look that old. Uh, summer of love, maybe it is. Maybe it is. I doubt it. Gotta look up this brand. I think it's probably a reproduction. Usually things like this are a reproduction, but I thought it was cool. Why not? Oh, yeah. And then I found Kohan uh, dust bag. So I picked that up because at some point, I think I picked up some Kohan shoes. This needs some, uh, what do you call it? Lots of lint rolling. 
So, but I, I want to say this is a good brand. I can't remember if it is. It's Faraday. Tell it's made out of organic cotton. So I thought, why not? Oh yeah. I mean, it has, I need to seriously lint roll that. And I have plenty of lint roll. This is Gap Long and Lean. This looks uh, vintage. Does it have like a date on the tag? It doesn't. Long and Lean Jean. Oh, 2005 maybe? Maybe from 2005. Almost vintage. So they're like this gray wash. And they have like this flare. Boot cut. Flare. One of the two. But it's long and lean. So anytime I see long, lean, short, I pick it up because I'm short and I tend to wear short jeans. And people that are long and lean, they need long and lean. And it's harder to find those jeans. Okay. Um, this is unbranded. It's just cute. I might just keep it. But it's like, uh, I don't know, it's a scarf, right? So it's like it was one of these, like, I don't know, what would you call it? Like mermaid style type, I guess. I don't know. It feels nice. It might be made out of nice, um, what do you call it? Material. Okay, so I don't pick up a lot of kids stuff, but I did decide to pick up this kid's item. I don't know what this is called, so I got to do a little bit of research. But it looks like it kind of goes over the kid. And then this is the back. Like it goes like in, in someone's stroller maybe. I don't know. Not stroller. Car seat? Yeah. Car seat. I think that's what I'm looking for. Anyway, I thought it was just really cute. I don't think it has a brand on it anywhere. Someone may have made it at home. I don't know. But I thought it was cute. So I decided to pick it up. Because I'm at the bins and it's cheap. Okay, so this is Cabby. Old style Cabby. It's a size 12, but they're nice career wear pants. And they're a nice, like, wide leg. I would consider that a wide leg. Um, and they zip down the back, which I thought was very interesting. I'm like, I haven't seen this style in a while. But they zip down the back. I'm like, all right. Short little arms. I would be able to do that. Okay, and these are some faux leather, size large. They're W collection. Oop. Come on. You gonna, are you going to focus? So they're polyester and spandex and polyurethane. So somebody is going to want these. I just bought some faux leather. Uh, leggings from uh, Veronica Metka, and um, she, as she was doing, was she doing like a haul video? And I saw some pants, and then I went to her, um, I went to her Poshmark, and I saw some other pants, and so I got both of them. So I'm really excited. So that will be in a future video. Well, not the pajama bottoms, but the the faux leather ones. I need a drink of my coffee. How cute is this Ray Dunn um, mug I picked up yesterday at her store and it says boo. So excited. Okay. So and I also picked up five Ray Dunn canisters that I was like, oh yeah, I couldn't pass it up. So I, I got them for my personal, personal use. This is the Victor Inox who is, uh, who made Swiss Army. So that's why it has like the Swiss Army like plus on it. But it is a just a regular like, I don't know, is it puffer? Oh, it does have some sweat stains on it though. Let me see if I can get that out. Hopefully I can. If not, sometimes you can try bleach on this and it works out. So I'll try that. That's actually going on the floor because I have run out of space um, in that bag. Oh yeah, and then someone had picked out this and I decided just to grab it. It's, um, we call it, is it one direction? I think it is. 
I decided why not? And I picked it up. There's nothing on the back. All right. So I have two big Ikea bags left. These are Levi's and they are the iconic straight. And so I picked them up. I think this is an older style. Um, I don't know when this was from, but it's not like your typical tag. And like, this is the tag on the inside. So it's not your typical one that the, so this might be actually vintage. So I picked these up. I think they're men's. I don't know. I have to look them up. But yeah, they actually might be vintage. I have to do some more research into that. But that'd be really cool if they were. So I don't know where the other shoe is at. Oh, it's right there. Okay. So this is new new tag. It is express. Um, there's a tag. But it is the cropped uh wide leg. And it's wide leg and new tag. So I picked it up because I thought, you know, why not? Because I thought it'd do well. It's this kind of wine uh, burgundy type. <sighs> Color. <laughs> Cannot figure out how to say words. Also express and out new tag though, but it is a jumpsuit. So I'm picking it up because jumpsuits do well. I think this is like a a skinny leg it might be or a tapered leg i think it's just more tapered but i couldn't you know pass up getting it. it has like this ruffle detail on the front so i thought that was just really cute it zips down the front but also zips under the armpit these are joseph siebel i'm probably butchering his name but how cute is this booty i thought why not it has this nice stacked heel the bottoms look really good. Like, I don't think they were worn much. Anyway, so I'll put these up here. And then I got these shoes. They're, these are tulips, but they are real leather. So I don't pick up a ton of tulips. Um, but I just really liked this style. I thought it was really cute. So I picked it up. And the bottoms look fantastic. And they are the Zeta. And they're a size nine. This is the other shoe. And I just thought these will do pretty well. So why not pick them up? All right. So I picked up. Did I show you this hat? I think I just picked it up and put it over. So this is a new tag. It's I am. It has this cute like floral detail. So you can wear it like the, the lady's wearing it on there. Anyway, and I think it's 100% wool. Let me look. 90% wool and 10% nylon. So this will be good. I picked up this it snap on. This used to be a really good uh, hat to pick up. It needs to be washed. But um, yeah. Or at least at the very least brushed. This is a dress. But what are you from? Oh, you're a universal thread. You're not a dress. You're a top. I got this to try on, so I might just keep it if it fits me. Um, it might, but I thought this was really cute. It has this, like, puff sleeve, like, detail. Actually, I think this sleeve is actually called something else. Is it a bishop sleeve when they do this? I think it's called a bishop sleeve. Don't look up bishop sleeve. I might be wrong, but I think it is called that. It has, like, peplum hem on it, so I thought it was just really cute. So I picked it up. And if it doesn't fit me, then I will sell it. This is American Giant. Now I picked up the, um, I picked up their uh, thermals before and it did really well. So this is a hoodie, which is really thick. And I really kind of like the back of the arm. Let me show you. It has like this protection on where the elbow would go. And it's just a good brand. So I thought this would be great. It's extra large and it is 100% cotton. So hopefully that does well. Um, I think this is made well. It is. And it is tiny. 
extra small, but extra small people also need sweaters. And I can put this on my mannequin. Um, this is shorts. It is J. Crew Factory. But they are the beach short. And I thought they just looked good, so I picked them up. Because why not? Shorts are easy to list. Um, this is, what are you? J. Jill, extra large. So it's a good size, good brand. It's like a good bread and butter brand for me. Come on, really? Okay. Um, but this is like oversized. So I can totally wear this. And I will absolutely model it. So, and it has like this cute like blue detail in the in the uh, black detail. It's like a robin egg blue. So that'll be good. Uh, this is J. Crew. I do pick up J. Crew at the bins because it will sell. It's flannel. It's purple and purple. People love purple. So. I think it does have all its buttons. I usually check out the bins. Yes, it has all its buttons. So, and just, you know, plaid on the butt, on the, on the back. I'm getting tired. More coffee. I get tired after I talk for a while and I usually need to take a break. This is New Works. I sold a little dress from them recently and it's 100% rayon. It's cute though. Is it like a little mini dress? Oh, it's like a little mini dress. Or it could be a tunic. But it is really cute. And it's like this greenish color. It's a greenish teal color. Okay. This is Torrid, size one, which is 1X. And it's this red tartan plaid dress, which is perfect for the season. And I will be able to model this, so I won't have to use a stock photo. So that's good. And hopefully my clicker will be coming soon. It's probably delayed. It was supposed to come yesterday for my phone. Do Purdue collection. It's 80% or silk. So I picked it up because it's really pretty. And it has like this beading detail down the arm. And kind of around the neck and all that. But it is like a wrap. It's a wrap sweater. So I picked it up because of that. Because I thought it would look really good. This will look better on my mannequin. It needs a good steam, you know. It kind of smells like, oh, I found this. This is like a leather keychain. This is for me. It's a little ladybug. How cute is that? But it's like all leather. So I'm keeping that found it randomly in a bin. So I thought, why not? This has no, oh, it does have a maker. I lied, but I don't know what the maker is or actually I do because I didn't look at the side. Um, yeah, I can't really read that. Can you? It's really faded and yeah, it doesn't want to focus, but it does have a union tag on it. So I will look up when this union tag was, and then I can date that. But it's a really cute, it's a really pretty, like, slip, black slip. And, oh, it has, like, some lace on the back right here. That's interesting. Just this little lace on the back, but no lace on the other side. Okay. I wonder if they're covered up a hole or something. Oh, yeah, they covered up a, a, a hole that was made in it. They repaired the hole and then put the lace over it. All right. I will just disclose that. But I don't. Someone might still want it. You know, maybe not as much as it could have gotten before. But, you know. And here's another one. Is this one. Is this the one that had? No, this one also has a tag. This one you can actually see. It's Capri Collection. Come on. It does not want to focus. Okay. It's Capri Collection. It's DuPont Antron. I'm set nylon. 
So yeah, it's, this is definitely vintage as well. Size 40, so I have to figure out what 40 is. But it's just this really pretty lace. This one does not have a repair in the back. Um, slip. And some people do wear these as slip dresses. Like they put a, a different bra underneath, like a bralette, and they'll wear this as a slip dress, even though it's a slip. I've seen it happen. This is Banana Republic. These are size, these are size 10. They are Sloan. Um, these are not Banana Republic. I have some Banana Republic uh, factory ones that are Sloan. These are the non-factory ones. They're red. So I thought maybe someone will pick these up for Christmas or for Valentine's Day. One of the two. Okay, this could not pass up. Uh, is cute. This is the He 75 denim. I've never heard of that brand before, but it's this cute hooded like denim jacket and it's polka dot, zips all the way down. Just thought, why not? Cute. All right. This is, what are you? You're cut from the cloth. So I will pick up cut from the cloth clothing. This is a large, it's a very like semi sheer um, top. I don't know if you really consider this animal print or maybe just abstract print. I don't know. I wouldn't consider that animal print myself. Um, this is, this is 100% cashmere. And it is usage, made in Mongolia, 100% cashmere, scarf, has no holes. Just thought it was really pretty. So it has this little fringe, so I picked it up. This cashmere scarves will sell even used. Um, this is Mac Tools and property of Mac Tool, professional mechanics tool. So I thought I'd get this to maybe bleach stress. I haven't decided, but probably that. Black's good for that. And, or maybe just sell it normal. So this is Mustache Brigade Marvel. So Luke Cage Hero for Hire. So I picked that up. Figured why not? There's really nothing on the back. But it's like this distressed like black. Like they've already kind of bleached distressed it a little bit. It looks like. And this is H&M, but it is like pride and it has pride on the side here. Oh, proud. Sorry. So proud on the side, both arms. I just thought, why not? It's a U.S. extra small. So I thought I'd just pick it up because I like rainbows. And I like to support pride and the LGBTQ community. There we go. Jimbery, 100% cotton. This is really cute, like kid's dress. All the beading is there, so I th I figured I'd just pick it up. There's the beads. Someone's gonna want that for their kiddo. It's cute. This is Gap, the authentic best girlfriend. I will pick up Gap jeans, especially when they have like a style like that. And they're in great condition because Gap can go for a little bit. Gap jeans, at least. And Gap, uh, like, denim. This is, what are you? You are Rachel, Rachel Roy. The size, like, six dress. But it has real leather uh, paneling. And I just thought it was just, just a nice dress. But this is real leather, real leather on the back. I believe it was real leather. Okay, let me just double check that. Before I lie to you, where is the tag? It's in here eventually. Do, do, do. Oh my God. I know I found it before. Sometimes just, oh, here it is. Okay. Let's see. Am I lying? I know I looked it up in here. Okay. So do, 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 do. leather panels. Yep. 
I was right. It feels like leather too. It smells like leather. So it is leather. But I just thought this was a cute dress to get. Why not, right? This I could not not pick up. This is another child's 6X or 7. The children's place dress. How cute is that? Couldn't not get it. And then this is the bat. Okay. Another mini boat in. So I got it. Picking up some kid stuff. I decided I'm going to do kids' dresses and kids' coats for a while and see how that works out for me. And then this is the back. It has these pink buttons. And this is nice, like, butter yellow. Uh, yellow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is, uh, this is this. Okay. Let me find it. It is Ingloro. Piana in Italy? I don't know. I don't know. I've never heard of it before. But I think it's 100% wool. Yes. And does it have a, another? Okay. Oh, sorry. It's Brooks Brothers. Okay. So it's made in Italy. It is Brooks Brothers. So I did pick it up. Oh, I'm just... Knocking stuff off my desk. And it is this, uh, is it a three button? Yeah, I think three button are like out, but you know, I, Brooks Brothers, I couldn't make pass it up. Has these nice like metal buttons on the side, on the arms, cuffs. That's what the button looks like. It will focus. There we go. Why not? I like to pick up a nice dress. Um, a nice, what do you call it? Blazer. Okay. A few things to go. I'm taking a break. These are Levi's. Um, I think they're just straight leg. What does it say inside? Does it say anything on the inside? It doesn't always say. It doesn't. It's the 513 though, which you can look up that style. And you can get what style it is. But I'm pretty sure it's straight leg. Because it looks like that. Oh, yeah. Pick up this. this. These are the Cole Han, sho Cole Han shoes I picked up. And it's backwards. These aren't the Nike ones. So um, they are this, uh, like, a moss, mossy green almost. Um, uh suede and then brown leather which i have brown leather which will clean that up and so it won't look aged anymore the bottoms look really good no real heel drag i mean a tiny bit on the back but not enough to make it a deal breaker and what size are these they are size i think they're size eight yes eight b made in brazil over here. I only got a few pairs of shoes, which I will clean those up. Okay. These are 501 Levi's. So I picked these up. They are not vintage. Um, I don't believe, no, they're not. These were reproductions from 2015, though. So these have some weight, you know, they've been worn. The bottoms look good. So the pocket has a little bit of distressing, which I'm sure from where they are about to fly. And they're 30, 32. So I thought, why not? Okay. This is, what are you? Oh, Holding Horses. The Anthropology brand. Um, this is a size, is it zero? Probably. Just put it on. Oh, yeah. Some Choose them all for me. I mean, I'm nowhere near a zero, but this button's down. I just thought this was a really cool, like, dress. Put it on my mannequin. Has pockets. I just really liked it. Okay. This is Pilcrow in the letterpress as well. So I think newer. 
this says by anthropology and this is the mid rise skinny size 31 i just really like this print it looks really cool kind of reminds me a little bit like you know 70s you know a little bit i don't know and it's a zip fly so i picked them up and i got some western pearl snap shirts i picked up this is levi's size large and we just got done watching, um, I mean, we got done like before we went to England, um, caught up on, we call it Yellowstone. So I can't wait for it to come back in November, but it's a really good show. It has Kevin Costner in it and Kelly, really? Riley, Kelly Riley. She's an English actress. Um, but she ends up sounding a bit more, uh, we call it from the East coast, even though this is like, takes place in Montana, which I think is really funny. Um, I think it's cause it's, she's, you know, has an English accent normally. Anyway, so I picked up this Pearl Snap shirt cause I, you know, thought it might do well. Western might do well. Uh, Southwestern is definitely on trend. Another Levi's extra large Pearl Snap shirt. Figured, why not? Picked it up. Uh, this one has a little schmutz on the back that I need to get rid of, but it needs to be washed. So I will put that over there, washing. Um, this is like a fleeced jacket. It's Freedom Foundry. And like I said before, the the brand doesn't seem to really matter when it comes to jackets. So this one is buttons up, has all its buttons. And I think we'll do pretty well. It's super soft. Okay. Few more items to go. This one is, what are you? Soft surroundings. Because this is like the next day. So I had gone, when I had gone my last haul, I'd gone Sunday night. And so I'd gone when they had closed. And so me and Kristen went back the next morning when they opened. So it was all the same stuff. Found another soft surroundings thing. And I think it was in the same bin that I found the other two soft surrounding things I missed it the first time, which I think is pretty funny that people just pass up soft surroundings so much. But I mean, will this get to me a lot? No, but it'll probably get me like 30, 40 bucks. I'm happy with that. I will still pick up Hawaiian shirts. So this one is Barefoot Paradise. Come on, really? Um, made in USA, 100% cotton, and it's one of those like it's darker on the inside, so they use like the faded side to make it, which is you know makes it more understated, and then the darker sides on the inside, so it's not so you know loud. I guess I don't know. I don't know why they do that. I, I sold a guess one that had done that, and I sold it for a pretty good amount. Oh, it's another one. Mr. Smiley. So I picked it up because look at the back of the arms. It has these smiley emojis. Super cute. Um, yeah, the last three pieces are kids. Yeah. This is a little jean jacket. And this one, what does it say? Baddie boy? Buddy boy? Buddy boy, I bet. And then it has this little beep, beep, beep really cute little cars on the on it and the last piece oh I don't think this is kids is it no it's extra small probably understand why I thought it was kids just sitting in my thing this is also made well extra small it's a uh, sweater it's green and it has like this zip de detail down the back so you can unzip the back to make it an open back if you want. Oh, you can make it bigger. Oh, cool. So it makes it bigger. So if you need more room, there you go. If you don't want a more fitted look, then zip it back up. Oh, interesting. I've not seen that before. And what are you made out of? Cotton, viscose, and nylon. So it's from 2014. I'll still need to pick it up. So that's my haul. Let me know what you thought of it. Um, would you have picked up the stuff? Oh, yeah. I need to count this stuff real quick. Hold.
Okay, so I just got done counting and it is $5.33 per item. So that should do fine uh, with what I got. Some things will make a little profit, but most things will make a pretty good profit in my opinion. So uh, let me know what you thought of my haul and what you would have picked up out of that. Um, and hopefully, uh, oh, and also I have a question. How is thrifting in your area? Like, is it worse than normal? Cause I've been watching some other resellers and they're like, oh, it's, it's not been great for us. And I'm like, it's always great for me. I can, can always go to the bins and get like a couple hundred items within a couple hours usually. And, uh, so let me know how it is at your locations. Is it normal or is it more scarce? I'd be interested to hearing about that. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, night, weekend, or day, night. Have a great day, night, morning, whichever you're watching this. <laughs>